Good afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great vehicle value from Parkway RV Center. We're going to do something a little different today. We're going to sell one of our lot trucks. Today we're going to look at a 1998 Western Hauler. Now guys, this is a heck of a truck for the price and the price is wrong on the windshield. We're actually pricing it for $29.9. And guys, if you've got a fifth wheel, a large fifth wheel, and you're going to be hauling it a lot, this is what you want. This thing right here, we've been using it for the past several months. We like this style of truck so much better for hauling than a dually truck that we went out and bought a bigger version of this in a Peterbilt to use for the heavy duty stuff. So guys, it, so we're selling this one and, and since we've got the Peterbilt now. And this guys is an amazing RV hauling machine, but you can use it for fifth wheels, you can use it, uh, you know, you can use it with a adapter for a gooseneck. You can use it, got a class four hitch on the back. If you're into running freight, this is a freight runner's dream right here. Guys, if you can't tow it with this truck, you don't need to mess with it, period. And if you've got a 40 foot, 38 foot, 40 foot, 42, 45 foot fifth wheel, this right here is going to be like calling it with a Lincoln Town Car rides and drives and handles so much better than a dually pickup truck that we're phasing out all of our dually trucks and going to this style vehicle except for maybe one for short-term deliveries or smaller vehicles and guys this thing is a amazing machine got the locking toolboxes on the side it is a fl60 freightliner chassis it's a business class not a commercial class so it's got fluid brakes does not have air suspension so you know, you can, depends on the state, but you can drive this thing on a regular driver's license. You don't have to have CDLs. Now, the truck we have now, you have to, but this one, you don't. Michelin tires. Our Yokohama's in the back, Michelin's on the front. Tires are in excellent condition. We put about 15, 20,000 miles on this one ourselves. Got an air shock fifth wheel hitch on the back, and guys, we've towed 25,000 pounds with this thing. Man, it just it just eats it up. It just takes it down the road like a boy dog. Amazing machine, you know, our uh, hauling dream. And here's the thing, guys. You know, I've been looking online at at, at Dooley's for twenty nine nine diesel trucks for twenty nine nine. And a diesel truck's a good vehicle. It's a dual purpose vehicle. You know, if you need something that's made to drive every day and the occasional towing, a, a truck's great. But if you want something made strictly for towing and comfort, here you go. I mean, this is going to outlast two duallys for about the same price you're going to pay for a several-year-old diesel dually with the same miles on it. Got about 134,000 miles on it. Um, it's got the six-speed Allison uh, automatic transmission, just like in a big Class A diesel motor home like these right here. And it's got an 8.3 liter Cummins ISC 300 horse, 860 pound feet of torque motor. This is a commercial grade Cummins, guys. This is a lot bigger than what they put in the pickup trucks. And of course, Freightliner chassis means you're never going to have a problem getting service, repairs, or anything like that. 134,000 roughly miles on it. Windshield's perfect, air's ice cold. Batteries are good. Tires are good. I mean guys like I said, we've been using it ourselves. This isn't something that's been sitting on our lot I mean, we, we've kept the road hot with it And if it wasn't for the fact we ran across that Peterbilt this thing we'd, we'd still be using it Let's step up into this Western hauler guys. Of course you got the fire extinguisher. It's got the Mastercraft adjustable air ride driver seat It's got three fuel tanks. It's got a rear a left and a right to hold over a hundred gallons of fuel and as we step up in here guys my drivers don't smoke and this I don't think this thing's been smoked in uh, looks like you got an Alpine stereo it looks like a CD changer maybe we'll go ahead and fire it up fires right up no warning lights I'm going to point out something folks um, the odometer has been replaced in this truck. 
It currently shows 54,000 miles on it. It was changed out at about 80,000. I can show you an ECM. I can take the computer, hook it to the ECM to show you the actual miles. But it's right at 134, so we can prove that too. So definitely um, low miles for a truck like that. That'd be low miles for any 98 vehicle and a diesel. But man, this is a sweet ride, guys. And it's not too big. I mean, they call these baby freight liners. Business class, like I said, you got a 45 gallon right hand tank, 30 gallon left, and 30 gallon rear fuel tank. So you're out on the road, you, you find diesel really cheap before you go into another state, go ahead and fill it up. Um, you've got two seats up here, books, manuals, everything's still in here. It is the 8.3 ISC. I've got all the books for that. It's a 300 horse, 860 pound feet of torque. It's going to handle pretty much whatever you want to put behind it. It's got a bunk in the back, which you can take that bunk out and use it for storage if you want to, or maybe even put a seat back there. But my drivers on big, on big long hauls, but big with bigger RVs, they always travel in pairs anyway. So one can sleep, the other drives. And uh, air ride seat works great. Like I said, the air is ice cold, no check engine lights, no warning lights. I wouldn't hesitate to drive this truck anywhere, guys. Stereo sounds great. Let's cut that air down. It's actually a little chilly. And the cab noise really isn't that bad. Um, and like I said, guys, I know this truck isn't for everybody. But if you've got a big toy hauler fifth wheel or a big fifth wheel in general, big travel trailer, you want something that, you a truck that you can buy to tow a big rig and never have to worry about um, not having enough truck for the job. I always say, folks, when it comes to towing, better to have too much and not enough. And look at it this way. Even if you don't have a very big fifth wheel right now and you need to buy a truck to tow it with, you can buy something like this and you'll never be able to buy too big a fifth wheel for your vehicle. Or you can buy a, a three-quarter ton diesel truck and you get up into 40, 42 feet, you've got too big a fifth wheel for your truck. You buy this truck right here, you'll never be able to five, buy a fifth wheel you can't tow. So definitely, guys, uh, heavy duty as they come. Low miles, six-speed Allison, 8.3 ISC Cummins. I mean, there's nothing about this truck that, for a diesel enthusiast, would turn them off. And the price is really amazing, guys. I mean, I've been looking online and looking at these Western haulers, and I've got one of the lowest prices and one of the lowest mileage ones in the country for that $29.9 price. Uh, got the engine brake, the engine retarder, um, all the headlights, tail lights. We've gone through this truck, guys. Like I said, we've been using it. We've kept it serviced. The batteries are hot. I mean, literally, come jump in it, drive it to California. It's been recently serviced, uh, fuel filters, all that. So it's definitely... Guys, this truck is definitely ready to hit the road. 29.9, haggle free, firm, try to find one for less. 134,000 miles roughly. Runs and drives perfectly. Come out, look at it, come test drive it. Um, this is about as big as you're gonna get without getting into the kind of the CDL gray area of, uh, of driving trucks. Um, got the rubber mat. I mean, everything in this truck looks great. I mean, there's no, um, there's no excuses for it. Locking toolbox, and just ready to hit the road, guys. You want to pair it up with one of our many used fifth wheels, we'll cut you a package deal. Um, and like I said, we've towed 45 footers with this thing. It just takes it down the road like, like you were hooking a, an 18 foot camper to a regular pickup truck. I mean, it doesn't even phase it. This the way these things are geared and that heavy duty Allison transmission and the and the commercial grade 8.3 Cummins, it's just, it's made to take a load, guys. And if you're running freight, like on U-Ship and things like that, it's a great truck. Because guys, let's be honest with you. You're gonna spend 30 grand on a diesel dually and this thing will tow so much more and outlast a diesel dually. Um, Anyway, guys, if you're interested in this truck, give us a call, 706-965-7929, and um, call before coming to look to verify availability. I'm going to put it on eBay. I'm going to put it on Truck Trader uh, or Equipment Trader. 
Uh, I'm going to have it out there on the internet, guys. So rest assured, a lot of people is going to be seeing it. And at that $29.9 price with the miles of condition, it's going to be very attractive to somebody. And um, if you're interested, please call. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 706-965-7929. Guys, check it out. Let us know if you're interested. Um, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. And we do take trades. So if you got a trade in, make sure you give us a call. You can also email us sales at parkwayrbcenter.com. I mean, guys, this this is this truck's in amazing condition. Um, now, as far as financing, unfortunately, I don't have financing for this truck. I'm an RV dealer, and I don't have financing for vehicles. You know, that's something you're going to have to check on yourself. Check with your local bank or credit union, Google uh, equipment financing. I'm sure you'll find somebody that you can get a loan through if you got good credit. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, call us, email us. Um, come out and visit with us. Come test drive it. Thank you for watching and look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.